let's solve for the value of x um and x is what x is real thank you uh, welcome to my channel today so we have that x to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130 okay we can express this as 2 to the power of 3 right let's put them in the same base so we have 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130 all right now recall that um a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n so that simply means that i can write a to the power of n raised to the power of m to get the same answer all right so that simply means i can switch the position of these powers so let's go ahead and do that now if we do that we have um 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. Now, we have 2 to the power of x here. So let 2 to the power of x be equal to y. If we say that, then this particular equation becomes y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 130. Now, let's um, write this properly because this is a cubic polynomial. Now, let's write it properly. If we do that, we have y to the power of 3 plus y. This plus 130 we cross to become minus 130 is equal to 0. All right, perfect. Now, this is what we have, okay? There are so many ways to solve cubic polynomial. I'm going to put end screen on it here okay at this point so this particular video now you are going to watch it you are going to see so many videos so many ways you can solve cubic polynomials so many um methods you can use to solve a cubic polynomial now but the method i'm going to use here is the long division method okay now in the long division method this is how it goes we are going to use trial and error to get the first factor of this particular polynomial now to get the first the first factor we are going to use try and error now we say let y equals if we start from one one is not going to be possible because one to the power of three plus one minus one thirty is not equal to zero so this statement is wrong the equation is wrong so y is not what one but if you say let y equals five okay you will notice that 5 to the power of 3 plus 5 minus 130 will give us 0. Because 5 to the power of 3 is 1, 2, 5 plus 5 is 130. And 130 minus 130 will give us 0. Perfect. So that means we have gotten the first value of our y. Now we have y is equal to 5, but we need it as a factor. Now as a factor, let's subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So if this plus 5 crosses to this side, so right now I'm dull and I'm not feeling fine. But nevertheless, it's still move on. So <clears throat> we are going to bring this plus 5 to this side to become minus 5. So we have y minus 5 is equal to 0. So this is a factor now. We are going to use this factor to divide this to get the other factor, which is going to be a quadratic equation. Okay? So we are going to write y minus 5 is going to divide y to the power of 3 um, plus 0y squared. Yes, because there is no y squared. Then plus y minus 130. So we go ahead and divide. So y divides, if y to the power of 3 is divided by y, we will have what? y squared. y squared times y will give us y to the power of 3. y squared times minus 5 will give us minus 5y squared so we add okay now y to the power sorry we subtract y to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 is 0 right now y squared minus minus 5y becomes 0 plus 5 right so we have 5y squared here then we are going to bring down this plus y and we are going to bring down this minus 130 okay then we divide again you keep dividing with this y now, when y divides 5y squared, what will you have? You have plus 5y, right? 5y times y will give you what? 5y 
times y will give you 5y squared. 5y times minus 5 will give you minus 25y, all right? Then you subtract again. Now, this is where we are. If we subtract, what are we going to have? 5y squared minus 5y squared will give us 0. Then we have y minus minus 25y becomes y plus 25y, right? And that is 26y. So this is what we have now. 26y. Okay. Then we are going to bring down what? Minus 130. Bring down minus 130. Then we divide again. Remember we are dividing with what? y minus 5. Now when y divide 26y, what will you have? You have what? 26. So we have plus 26. Now 26 times y will give us 26y. And 26 times minus 5 will give us minus 130. Now this time if we subtract, we are going to get 0 here. Okay? And once you get that 0, you stop. So this simply means that the solution is what? The other factor is y squared plus 5y plus 26. So this implies that instead of us to write this now, y to the power of 3 plus y minus 130, we are going to replace it with what? This times this. So this implies that y minus 5 multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. So this simply means that y minus 5 is equal to 0 or y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to 0. Okay, now from the left hand side, y is equal to 5, right? Now from the right hand side, let's check the discriminant since we are told that our value, the x is real, right? So let's check this. If you check the discriminant, you are going to notice that the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Now what is our b? Our b is 5. So 5 squared minus 4 multiplied by our a is 1 and our b is, our c is 26. So definitely, this will give us 25 minus. So this is a bigger number. That means we are going to get complex roots from here. So we don't need it. That means we are going to reject this side and focus on the fact that y is equal to 5. Now, having gotten that value, we go ahead and solve. Permit me to use this place. So what we have now is that y is equal to 5. Okay. So we have that y is equal to 5. But recall, recall this statement that 2 to the power of x is equal to y. Okay. 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So this simply means that 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. So at this point, what we need to do is to introduce log to both sides of the equation. So we have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log what? 5. Now using the power rule, log a raised to the power of x is equal to x multiplied by log a. So this x comes to multiply this. So we go ahead and bring this to this side. So we have x log 2 is equal to log 5 okay all right now we are looking for the value of x so let's divide both sides of this equation by log 2 okay so if we do that this we divide this we have that x is equal to log 5 divided by log 2 okay now um if this is the first time you're coming across this channel please don't hesitate to See, uh, subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay, so we have that x is equal to log base 2 of 5. Yes, because if you have log c of a divided by log c of b, this sentence as log a base b. Now let's check if this is right, okay? Um, let's check. We have that x is log 5 divided by log 2, right? Now what is log 5? Approximately, log 5 is um, 0 0.699 divided by log 2 is approximately 0 0.301. Okay, all right, so if we divide this by this, we are going to get 
2.32 to two decimal places. This is what we will get. Now, the equation says that 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130. So if we say 8 to the power of 2.32 plus 2 to the power of 2.32, is equal to 130 okay so we are going to have if you solve this you are going to get an approximate value of 125.081 okay plus this one approximate value of 4.999 is equal to 130 okay all right now approximately this is what 125 and approximately this is 5 which is equal to 130 yes and 125 plus 5 is 130 is equal to 130 thank you so much for watching and i wish to see you next time